Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Mafia Remake. So let's play. <coughs> Yesterday I saw a video of comparison of Mafia original and remake. There is much difference in this. So they <coughs> So they changed a lot. The graphics quality increased much, so much better. Like in 200, no, in, yeah, like in 200. So it is good, right? Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe life in Cillieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You, Tommy? Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Okay, guys, let's go and meet the boss. Yes, let's meet the Cillieri. Okay, let's go. There is the boss. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest <coughs> deals. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe they'll protect them. So let Morello stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. OK, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Let's go and talk to that gun guy, ammo guy. Hey, just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. Okay, we got the gun. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. They don't count. Pointed at the this is the first gun. Yeah, this is the first gun of us in this game. Not at <clears> me, you <throat> moron. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay? Now show me a reload. Thank you. I open the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing, needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. Let's feel it. Okay, let's go and meet him. Meet him another guy. You guys need to be careful today. Yeah, this car, guys. So let's see what's this. One year since the crash. He lost the cars. You, you, you know how to get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Okay, we learn how to unlock the car. Come on, Tete Tommy. Show me what you can do. Okay, it's a car. We got it. Have a good day, Puffa fellas. <coughs> okay. Let's go somewhere. First, we got out. 
He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Okay, I just skip the driving. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Okay, let's follow them. And then turn to the back of me. <coughs> Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, not so little now. Okay, we call another note. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. Okay, I was worried about... get the money. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us. But it's good you were. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia? Let's ask this. Where's the money? The the <laughs> it's on the table, brown envelope. Via di qui. Lasciateci in pace. Okay, let's go. And get into the car. See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom. Huh? Okay, let's wait for the Sam. And Polly already entered the car. Okay, let's go to another location and collect the money. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Okay, we just skipped the driving. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Okay, He's doing the store on his own? Polly. Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Oh. We can hear some sounds. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, <coughs> Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. I think there's fight going on inside. Somewhere there's this old gun. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. He's good. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. <coughs> you wanna come out with us again, Tom? Okay, this road is nice. Let's drive ourselves. Chinese nephew so let's guys see how much their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. 
Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanked. Okay, I think we Wait have to fight here, here. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Salieri, from here on out, this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Okay, let's go and get Sam. Okay, this door is locked. I think in here may be a store. I'll uh, just try. I think we have to go here. Let's reload. <coughs> okay, we have the big gun here. Let's pick this one. Come out! Check over there. Gonna hunt him down! He's clever. Guys, over here! Here's some <laughs> over here! One more! Oh, okay, kind of okay, headshot. He's dead. Okay, he's dead. Let's play. Let's get everyone. Let's get everyone and bring the Sam back. Take him, third shot, okay he's done. Let's reload. Okay, let's heal, okay we are done with it. Okay what's this? Something stuff which is, isn't necessary for us. Okay. There is no one here. 
Okay. I can't see anyone here. Okay, there is that guy. One headshot is better than three four body shots, right? <coughs> okay. Sam, <Sam-ham. laughs> oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. <coughs> Come on, you'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh. <coughs> Tom! Yeah. Oh, catch the bastard! <sighs> okay, let's catch. Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! Okay, let's chase him. Sort of cost what it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off there and then, but I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Okay. We just completed an ordinary routine chapter, so let's continue. Oh, we went uh, eight years forward. So that's how a regular palooka <laughs> goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you'll foster your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And then next, you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn 10. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping at its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. We are here at Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about one of the belt or something. <coughs> God damn it! Moron! The gym with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! 
Oh, Jesus, this? baby. Joseph, Tom. Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joe? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. Tail, pal. You got an informant right there that says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Okay. Okay, we are now in 1932. Tommy. Faith Thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race. And he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, no, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Can I get a drink here? As soon as Let's go and talk to tea. Your pop let you out for the rage? Ralph. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. Uh, I'll deal with it. Hey, buona sera, Tom. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, Rob, right? You, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him up a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. Yeah, like Bobby already. Sure. 
Then then there's this other guy, the Lucas Berton. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe, when no, I was to take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know. Let's select the car. Okay, we have five cars. Three, four, five. This one is nice, V8. Okay, let's take this car. Okay, let's take full cover. Okay, this is nice. Let's change the color. Let's use the white one. <coughs> okay, let's try. <coughs> let's meet the guard, Ralph's friend. Okay. Okay, this is it. Let's follow this card. Let's see what happens. We'll show us the garage, I think. Oh, nice. Here she is. 1929 Super. Camus LSE series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it in one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shifts. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Okay, let's walk it. I have to drive safe. Oh my god. 
three minutes left. Okay, let's drive it peacefully. Let us not hurt everyone. And not be first driver. Oh god. This is super fast, so it's very hard to control. So let's try our best. Oh no. shit. Oh god. Okay, let's try it once again. Let's go somewhat slow. Slower, slower, slower. <laughs> we are going slow. Okay, not bad. much okay holy scop souls so we are in trouble I think Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't hey, you Lucas. a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Our cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's go from here. Okay. Okay, 
we have kept from cops. I just saw in a minute that there are some cops out there. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, we've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, I Tom, there's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, okay. I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. OK, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Okay, yeah, now we have to drive. From Europe, we got the hot shot favorite, Martin yeah. Lindenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. That's a new seat back, guys. Nice. Oh, 
Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with this car. Lichtenberg. Ah, crap! Jesus! Oh, God, oh, God. God, I didn't even see the map. I'm so sorry. Jesus, him! <laughs>
Take a circle, you turn. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Oh god. Okay, let's go slower here. Not bad. So let's go here. Okay, nice. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Let's go left. Now right, I think. Oh gosh. Oh god, how is this possible? <laughs> okay, let's try it once again. <sighs> I thought I would be the first, but that guy. Oh god. They're lined up on the grid, they're ready to start! They're off! Lichtenberg's in trouble, there's something up with his car! Lichtenberg is out! The favorite is out! Who's going to survive? Hit him, Jesus! Him? Son of a bitch! Shit! Okay. 
posicionado <coughs> el escuadrón más fuerte El fast posicionado Final round. So let's see what happens. Okay. Oh god. <coughs> oh, not bad. Okay, I think we're gonna win. Oh god, oh god, okay. Thank god we won. Okay, nice. It went pretty much better after three attempts. Hey, Not so Tommy. bad. <laughs> There's our winner. Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay. Just stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. 
I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morel's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing some bent boots by now, the poor bastard. Ooh. Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Something, huh? Cheers. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my mom new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> There. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Let's go and find Polly. Let's go and talk to him. Yo, mama made that well easy to the time. When they started started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the collection. Great race, champ. Well, that's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when requested. Great run, Tommy. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom. I had a this is your here. first time. You're saying there wasn't one today. Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. Plus that, you try to clear us out before dark. The party won't stop. How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Okay, my five minutes ago, mate. <laughs> I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all race goers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Yeah, I think. Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big dead the tracks over. Okay, he's here. He found Polly. Down says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. Okay. Let's go, Jim. <laughs> Let's go and drop him to the house. You did real good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. You're trying to make me feel even worse. What was I saying? What was I saying? You did real good today, Tommy. Ah, this ain't helping me, Tom. So, um, anyway, yeah. You did real good today, Tommy, with the... the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? 
What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a you're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you gotta be easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That yeah, right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your minds race. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... Whoever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Tom, I wanna get with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Hate me the ladies! Hate me the blue tropics. I don't know, I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Come on, pal, you don't want to puke in your glove box, and I don't want to puke in your glove box. Drive me home, for Christ's sake. Uh, home? Brought me home? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe that's, yeah, a good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I, I don't feel so good. Alright guys, we just completed the Fate Plague chapter. And the tracing chapter. Okay, thank you all for watching this. Thank you so much. And I'm just gonna end this video here. So let's play and I'll upload the continuation video tomorrow on another day. So if you wanna catch that video, please subscribe. Okay? Thank you. I, and please like this video. Thank you very much. Okay, bye.